Hi, it's John from Crescent Management Centre here. In this video, we're going to take a look at what is CMI Level 5. So CMI Level 5 qualifications are equivalent to undergraduate, so maybe the first or second year of a degree. You don't need a degree in order to study it though, so don't worry if you haven't been to university. Uh, if you've got experience of uni is fine but also maybe other professional qualifications that you've done at work then and certainly if you've done maybe a level three or a level four management qualification or something similar then probably you'll be fine with level five if you're not sure then get in touch and we'll then um, we'll make sure that it's right for you level five qualifications are ideal for middle managers and um, so that's a very broad uh, definition I guess it really depends on the nature of what sector you're in and what type of business and so on and um, I think the qualifications cover such a, a interesting and useful range of management and um, topics that they'll be useful for most people either going into a management role or if you're already in a management role so if you're a team leader then you might want to think about level two or three first but for middle managers we tend to suggest level four and certainly level five. Um, they are also useful for you if you're a specialist manager too, if you're a project manager or if you manage sales or something like that. So maybe you're not in an operational management role. These still, I think, will be something useful in there for you as well. So the qualifications that are available are, there's the CMI level five in management and leadership. There's 26 units to choose from. Um, there's an award, certificate and diploma, and they go up in size and they're all modular qualifications. So you can do them, uh, you could do an award and we often uh, encourage people, particularly distance learning wise, to just maybe do an award or a certificate because you can always top up to the diploma later on um, and see, make sure that it's right for you. So as I think I've mentioned, you've got 26 units to choose from and we uh, we offer them all. So you can choose whichever ones you like if you study with us. An award in management and leadership at level five is going to typically be one unit that you need to study, um, two or three units to study for a, uh, for a certificate and usually seven or eight for the diploma. Can be more than that sometimes, but typically that. The next qualification I'd like to share with you briefly is uh, the CMI level five in management coaching and mentoring. Again, there's an award certificate and diploma, and that's either one, three, or seven units that you need to complete. There's only a choice of seven units in that qualification though. Um, and that's quite hard work actually. There's quite a lot to study and you get into a lot of detail of coaching and mentoring and how it's delivered in organizations and so on. The next qualification I'd like to share with you is the CMI level five. Uh, in managing equality, diversity and inclusion. It's one unit, it's CMI, uh, it is unit 506 from the main management and leadership syllabus and it's a standalone diversity and inclusion qualification. Um, what's really nice about that one is it's more kind of management focused um, rather than, for example, being more focused on HR. So it's useful for team leaders and middle managers who want to get more confident and skilled at managing diversity and inclusion, sort of at a team or a service level. Um, and I really rate that qualification. The next and final qualification at level five, again, we offer all of these, um, is the level five in project management. There's two project management units, uh, 524 and 513. Again, both of those are from the main management and leadership syllabus. You need to study and pass both of those to achieve the project management qualification. And that is uh, appealing to people quite often because it's done with written assignments rather than an exam. So there's some other accrediting bodies out there that do fantastic project management qualifications, but because there's exams at the end, some, some people prefer to do it via written assignment. So do have a look at the Charter Management Institute qualification. All of these are on our website and, uh, and you can get in touch with us as well if you've got any questions. So study via distance learning with us, you get to choose all of those qualifications and all of the units within them. So complete choice and we offer lots of support as well. So possibly what we think is probably a bit more supportive uh, than some other training companies. And uh, we have a very, very high pass first time rate as well, um, which people find um, 
uh, attractive. Uh, if you want to do any of those as part of an in-house program, if you're an L&D manager or a training manager or uh, work in HR and you're looking to develop the managers and develop the people in your business, then we can certainly help you with that too. Um, and again, it's flexible to fit your needs. So if you just want one or two units or you can have no qualification or a, a much bigger qualification, so anything in between. So thanks very much for listening. I hope you found that useful. That's a brief run through on what is CMI Level 5.